Your Excellencies, Minister Dr. Tan Si Feng. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends. I am honored to join you today for the inaugural Singapore Arena High Level Forum. I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to the Energy Market Authority and Ministry of Industry and Trade for their exceptional support and collaboration for this important forum. Singapore has not only shown the world how a country with limited resources can become one of the most advanced economies, but it's also proven to be a leader in global sustainability efforts. Moreover, with its COVID management efforts, it demonstrated its strong resilience to challenges and hosting the Singapore International Energy Week 2021 is a perfect example of this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to see so many high-level representatives and stakeholders who are the true global climate and sustainability leaders. Leaders who fundamentally understand that the choice made today will shape the future of our energy system, of our economies, of our society, and of our planet forever. A lot has happened in the past few years, and we are facing the new normal, as some of will say. As we all know, the energy sector has been hit hard by the pandemic. However, despite the economic slowdown and pandemic challenges, global renewable energy capacity addition in 2020 beat earlier estimates and all previous records. The world added more than 260 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity during a pandemic year, accounting for more than 80% of all new capacity addition. A truly remarkable accomplishment. Even with the challenges and the uncertainty of 2020, renewable energy emerged as a source of undeniable optimism for an achievable, feasible, more equitable, resilient, clean and just future. Moreover, the global renewable energy capacity addition in 2020 provide a very clear forecast of where future energy investment will be made. We stand on the precipice of a decade of climate action and renewables energy instrumental role has only just begun. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this year, ARENA released its comprehensive and holistic world energy transition outlook, which provides a pathway to avert us away from the climate crisis and towards a resilient and more equitable world. ARENA considers electrification and energy efficiency to be the main decarbonization drivers, enabled by renewables, green hydrogen and sustainable biomass. Meeting CO2 reduction targets by 2050 will require a combination of technology and innovation to advance the energy transition and to improve carbon management. But no one entity can do this alone. That is why supportive and proactive policies, as well as international cooperation to guarantee energy availability and access are simply crucial. The World Energy Transition Outlook also shows that a renewal-based transition will unlock a range of global socioeconomic benefits including a 1.2% improvement in, uh, improvement in uh, of economic growth and 0.9% higher employment up to 2050, whilst also addressing the short-term needs of a post-pandemic recovery. ARENA estimates that between now and 2050, over 80% of 131 US dollar cumulative energy investment must be channeled to energy transition technologies. Let us be honest with one another, this pathway is daunting, yet it is achievable 
2020's addition of 2026 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity during the pandemic year exemplifies this. Global capital is moving. We see financial market and investors shifting capital to viable, viable and sustainable assets. Furthermore, major economies accounting for over half of global CO2 emission are turning carbon neutral, including several countries in this region. Asian set an ambitious target of 23% of total primary energy supply coming from renewables by 2025. In this region, several countries like Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore have pledged to achieve net zero or to be carbon neutral by the second half of the century. In addition, over 200 companies pledged net zero emission by 2040. Many of these companies, such as Siemens Center, are also represented here at the Singapore International Energy Week. So, ladies and gentlemen, since ARENA inception, our members have asked us to be the global voice of renewables. Ten years later, we can see that our voice has been heard loud and clear. ARENA's vision of the energy future is today mainstream. We renewables routinely at the center of both climate and development strategy. ARENA's global reach is what give the, gives the agency its credibility and the privilege to support inter international cooperation across the gamut of energy transition challenges. Additionally, we are actively working with various partners, including the private sector, to provide a dynamic platform that drives action, comprehensive planning, holistic policy making and investment at scale. I am confident that this event will further enhance our collective ambition and enable countries to strengthen international cooperation toward an achievable, more sustainable and resilient future. I wish you all fruitful discussion and reiterate ARENA's readiness to partner with the region and beyond the transition to a low carbon and climate resilient future that is inclusive and just. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.